just first question I want to go back to this weekend. You guys drew with Oklahoma. You picked up a win against Tulsa. Just give your overall assessment of the team's first two matches. Uh, well, I think uh, we had some good results on the road. Uh, you know, it's always a difficult task to, to travel and play your first few games. And I thought our team handled it extremely well. Uh, they came in focused, ready to go, a lot of confidence. Um, so I saw a lot of great things uh, from them all weekend. I thought um, they did a good job to come out and um, really put ourselves in a position to win on Friday, even though we didn't get that result. Um, both teams had some close chances. Um, I thought we had a, created a few more, um, but a credit to the, the goalkeeper and their defense to, to limit um, our goals. And, uh, you know, I, I was really happy about how our team played through that overtime. Um, I know they were disappointed to give up a goal later in the game, but the fact they fought and battled and uh, did really well um, throughout the match it was a positive. And then to, to turn around and play Sunday with the uh, intensity they, they brought against Tulsa, uh, I thought was an excellent turnaround for a short time period from Friday to Sunday. And um, uh, just overall a great weekend and, and definitely nice to get a win um, before we headed home. Okay, and obviously Savannah had a hat trick on Sunday against Tulsa. This season, how much of a luxury is it going to be having her as such a good attacker to kind of just maybe draw the attention all of her and kind of open some plays up for the other attackers? Yeah, um, you know, I think we know uh, it's been that way. Um, even last year where Savannah definitely draws the attention. And, and as I had mentioned last week, um, you know, we don't mind that. She handles pressure well. She handles the... Um, the difficulty of having someone uh, tight on you um, often. And uh, she showed the ability to get out of tight situations to still create chances for herself and others. And um, she's just a phenomenal player. And uh, we also have so many uh, strong attackers surrounding her that it does open up opportunities for others um, as well. So Savannah is obviously a key part of our offense. but. Um, uh, you know, uh, players around her do a, a great job to, to compliment her. And then obviously Sunday you guys were able to get a lot of newcomers into the game. How much did that help getting them some experience? Yeah, I think uh, that's a big thing about the first part of the season, you know, as this is obviously always a test going into the next match and the next match and getting ready for SEC play. Um, you know, to, to get the freshmen to, to see the intensity of um, – uh, college soccer at this level to see the speed of play, the um, the uh, how tough you need to be, um, you know the work rate you need to have, all those things um, for the players, the freshmen and returning players that maybe didn't play as much last year. Uh, I thought it's it's just we're that much better once we have that kind of experience. I think the players too that were asked to start the game um, did a great job and. Uh, players that came off the bench gave us a lift. Everyone played their uh, a role well and uh, kept the game plan going, and so that was very promising as well. And then looking ahead to this week, you guys have your home opener Thursday against NC State. What is it about uh, Stone Stadium that makes it so tough to play for opponents, and how much will it give you a boost on Thursday? Yeah, I mean, I, we're lucky to have uh, probably one of the best stadiums in the country to play in uh, the atmosphere here is phenomenal. A lot has to do with the fans. Um, you know, I, th I think uh, it, I, I know at the start of the season, especially, um, we've had such strong support in the community from the from the students coming out. They're excited to be back on campus and starting off the season uh, for Gamecock Athletics. And so we're, we're expecting a big crowd, and um, it makes it that much tougher to play here at home um, for our opponent. So we'll be excited. Um, Definitely uh, can't wait to see the fans that turn out. Um, I know we have a big game Thursday, uh, as well as next weekend when Clemson comes to town. So we've got a few um, games in a row that I know people can be excited about. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to that and seeing us um, hopefully break further records with our, our crowds. Right, you mentioned Clemson, which is going to be the next week. Do you have to say anything to your team to make sure they're not looking ahead to that and you know, kind of focus on this week? No, I think um, you know that that is uh, always something they look forward to, but um, we really focus on each game right now. Um, so the fact that we have our first home game that's a that's focus enough for us um, to get to play at home and play in Stone Stadium for obviously the 
freshmen, um, their first time playing here at home. It's an exciting event, and uh, we'll definitely be focused on that evening um, solely. And you guys beat NC State in an exhibition last year. Do you put any stock into that heading into Thursday? or? Um, no, I think uh, exhibition matches for anybody is, is just a test for that season. Um, we have a little bit more familiarity with some of their players, but I know that um, they've, they're playing a lot of freshmen, new faces. So really we're um, you know, treating it as a, as a game where we have an idea from last year, but really probably expecting something um, a bit different. And obviously Thursday, a new feature this year at home is going to be the Vuvuzelas. We're introducing mm -hmm. them. Uh, how much of a boost would that give you guys? Well, yeah, I think uh, that's going to be exciting to, to hear the crowd um, and just another element to, to make our stadium one of the most difficult places to play in uh, and for the, for the, for the uh, opponent. So uh, I know our fans will be loud. They've always been loud, but uh, it, it's going to have that much more um, of an of a environment to, to play in front of. Um, we also have our new facility that's built right across from the stands, and that's helping actually with the noise levels as well. So it, it will be a neat place to play this year. And um, and I you know, said looking forward to starting it off on Thursday. And then just last question, looking ahead to this weekend, you guys play UCF on the road, another quality opponent. How much will this past weekend where you guys went on the road, kind of that experience help you guys come Sunday? Uh, yeah, it's any time you, you've already had a chance to test out um, being on the road in a routine and playing away, playing at someone else's campus. Uh, it, it's a help. It's just another experience that you can learn from. So um, the fact that this won't be our first road test uh, will definitely be an advantage. And um, we know UCF is an excellent opponent, so we're looking forward to that match. Thank you. Thank you.